Hi, everybody, and welcome back to the Space News Pod. This is a show about SpaceX, NASA, and spaceflight. I'm your host, Will Walden. And on this episode, we're going to be talking about next steps for SpaceX's Starship at Starbase, Texas, in Boca Chica. Now, we had a huge road closure on the 26th schedule, but that has been canceled. This was a road closure for 20 some odd miles. It was all of Highway 4 past. So there's a Border Patrol uh, station down there and it's past the Border Patrol to Oklahoma Ave in Oklahoma. It's just like it's a it's a long street and it's about 20 miles, about a, a 25 minute drive from there down to Starbase. And they were going to cancel all road uh, activity on the 26th, which is today. But they they canceled that. So that isn't happening. And I'm going to show you these road closures coming up because I think we need to take a look at these. January 4th has been canceled. January 5th has been canceled. January or January 25th has been canceled. January 26th has been canceled. Now let's go over to the 27th canceled Friday, the 28th from 6 a.m. to 4 p.m. still around. So we have an opportunity for something to happen this week. So Friday may be a thing, but there are no really big road closures coming up and nothing has been stated by any judges or anything uh, for the 28th. And it was only for the 26th that was canceled for like all of Highway 4. So recently, let's talk about uh, what's been happening recently at Starbase because I go down there almost every day. I shoot photos, shoot video and stuff. And it's just a wonderful, magical place to be. So the cool thing is I get to witness a lot of stuff too. They have been doing a ton of work on the orbital launch platform. A ton of work. There's people there all the time working on that thing. And it looks like they're removing some of the structure around the top of the uh, orbital launch platform. They're also working internally for possibly the release system. I'm not sure. We couldn't really get a really super close up of it yesterday, but uh, it looked like they were internal inside of the launch mount. So, don't know what they're doing in there, but they are working hard and getting it ready for something that's possibly big in the next week to two weeks. I'm just going to put it out there a week or two weeks because they had it scheduled for the 26th. And if they were like, you know, we got to we got to hold off on this. Something may have come up where they were like, we're just not ready to do this big road closure thing. Whatever that was, like I speculated that it was. Uh, they were going to do a full stack, possibly. They were possibly going to do a Starship uh, uh, raise on the chopsticks. We don't know now because they didn't close the road down and they don't have this test scheduled for today. So we're just going to have to wait and see, as usual, with SpaceX. So what's going to be happening in the next week or two that I was talking about? So they're working on the orbital mount. We know that there's also been a ton of work on the tower and the QD arms just recently did a test, open up the QD arms and swung it, swung it. Is that what the right word? Swung it off to the side, kind of like the impression that this is what's going to happen when the starship actually launches. They have to hold the starship in place in order for it to stay stable before they launch it. And that's what the QD arm does. Holds it there retract swing it off to the side you know ship goes up and we get to see this thing do an orbital flight test which will be absolutely amazing and i can't wait for that to happen which should in theory they should be ready by the end of february if the faa gives them approval for the environmental study that they're doing down there now if that happens if they say it's all go spacex will be uh, pretty close to ready, I think. They still have to do cryo tests on booster. They still have to do a static fire of booster, which is 29 Raptor engines. It's going to be huge. That's what they almost what they may close the road down for again. Um, they also will probably have to do a static fire of booster with Starship on top. That is a pretty big deal. Could you imagine a fully stacked Starship with a booster static fire? They're probably going to have to do that because there's no reason to have a fit test of the Starship on top of Booster. And if they do a static fire and it doesn't look safe, they're not going to try to launch this thing. They have to static fire it before they launch it. They have to do a full static fire of a fully stacked Starship 
29 Raptors blasting out the bottom of that thing. And don't know how long the duration will be. Will it be a minute? Probably not. It'll probably be, you know, a couple seconds, you know, probably 10 seconds at the most. But for the most part, they can get enough data from that initial static fire to show that it's going to be stable through the flight because they have to make sure that this thing goes off without a hitch because they have huge government contracts coming up. They just got an Air Force contract. I think it was an Air Force Department of Defense anyway, where they may be able to transport goods and services and possibly people around the globe with starships instead of waiting hours, you know, 20 hours for a flight. They can do it in an hour because Starship may be able to be a people mover or a, uh, you know, a stuff mover in the future. So cargo, humanitarian cargo, pretty important for Starship in the future. But also they have to make sure that they're ready for the HLS. They have to get this stuff done because they have to make a moon rocket. So getting this flight ready, super important for SpaceX. So this is what I'm, I want to know your guys' thoughts too. So when they do the next road closure, which they will, because they canceled the 26 road closure uh, because they weren't ready. But when they're ready for something like this again, for a 20 mile ish road closure, do you think they're going to full stack it? You think they're going to stack up the booster and the starship? Do you think, you know, there's, there's so many possibilities here. Stack up just the booster, stack up the booster at starship before that road closure and then during that road closure, will they static fire? We'll see. I, I'm not 100% sure what they're going to be doing, but it seems like that's the process that they're doing right now. They're getting this all ready. They're doing all of the preparation to get SpaceX's Starship ready for flight. So let me say for the last uh, minute or so here, thank you to everybody who's been a member of the show. We're coming up on our third year anniversary of the show. So thank you for becoming a member. Thank you for subscribing to the show. Thank you for being a fan. I really do appreciate every single one of you. Thank you for giving this video a like and all the other videos you've liked in the past. It really does mean a ton to me because um, without you, I couldn't do this. Literally, I couldn't do this. So thank you for all of your support throughout the time that we've been here. Um, yeah, thanks. Anyway, yeah, let me know in the comments what you think. Pretty exciting stuff happening in the next couple weeks, possibly, possibly a full stack. If there's a full stack, I'll be there. So uh, I'll send you some footage too. I'll show you some footage. It'll be really, really cool. All right. That's about it today. Thanks guys. Whoa, I just hit my microphone. No gloves today, by the way. <laughs> I took my gloves off. By the way, yesterday, if you watched and you were like, what is, why is he wearing gloves? It was because I was outside and it was raining and I was driving and I was like, I don't want to, you know, have like uh, wet hands all the time. So I just put gloves on and I forgot to take them off before I recorded. I just came in the house. I was like, I'm going to record some stuff. Sat down, recorded. I was all ready. I had it all planned out, but I just sat down and recorded. I was like, oh yeah, I have gloves on still. <laughs> so anyway, see you guys.